Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna be creating this look. So I hope you guys love this video. If you guys are interested. All right, so I got some pizza in the oven. I am sipping some lemonade. And we're gonna get started now. Okay, so. I always first start off with the brows. And I always use this primer. This primer right here, the NYX Proof It. I will link the, uh, I will link it down below. Yeah, so whatever. <sighs> so we're gonna get started. So I'm gonna be using this to prime my eyebrows because it's waterproof and when I tell you it does not come off, like I can go like this and show people my fingers and they'd be like, oh, wow. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna start off. Okay, so we're gonna be using the Anastasia um, Dip Pomade in Dark Brown. So let me put on some primer first. And you always wanna make sure, I always tell you guys like my first video, Make sure your eyebrows are already, oh my God. Sorry guys, now I'm functioning. <laughs> Make sure your eyebrows are already cleaned up, sharp, whatever, ready to go. So that your eyebrows can look bomb. So the reason why I tell you guys to conceal your brows because look at how sharp they are now. They are super sharp, super clean. This is why I tell you guys, always conceal your brows. People always look at your brows. So you always wanna make sure they are popping. Mainly people look at your eyebrows, your eyes, yeah, but overall, pop, pop. So anywho, so now I'm gonna bake my lids because I want more um, color to them. I always bake them to give it more um, more color so that the uh, eyeshadow can come out more crisp and clean and more vibrant. So the baking powder I'm gonna be using is the Kat Von D. This is in translucent, I believe. Yes, translucent. The Locket um, setting powder. And I just put a little bit. All the brushes I pretty much be using today is the All Morphe, Jaclyn Hill, and the BH Cosmetic brushes. BH Cosmetic, they don't have any numbers on these, so yeah. Now, since because I put concealer on my lid to prime them, I have to put some baking powder because then you're gonna get a line where your crease is at and you don't want any creases or anything like that. So now at this moment, I'm just building up the red. So now I'm going to be using the Sephora brand concealer in Bright Future. And as of right now, I am doing a cut crease.
Now, I'm going to be using this style of brush by BH Cosmetics, and I'm going to start off with the yellow in the inner corner and work my way out with other colors. Now I'm going to be adding a orange and red mixed color. So now I'm going to be pulling out the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'll be using this reddish type of color with like a brown tone to it and the brush that I'm using I love to use it on small areas and under eye areas because it works really well so now I'm going to be getting this brush and I'm going to be applying this glitter by NYX it's the gold one and then I'll be applying the NYX glitter priming glue and I'll be applying that on my lid area, just a small line, just to add some glitter. Alright, so I cleaned up the area. Yeah, yeah, looking good. Okay. So next we're going to see, let's see, let's see. Next we're gonna go in the bottom with this purple here that I have. Give myself some color to my life. Alright, so the color the color purple I'm getting out is from the Jaclyn Hill palette. If you guys have it, you guys would know which purple because there's only one purple. I'm going to be going in with the James Charles palette. And also using this glittery type of um, shimmery purple. I have to really get in there a lot. Because there's a lot of like, flyaways. So I'm putting this in the corner of my eye. Mascara I'll be using is from Lancome, the Monsieur Big. I absolutely love how this mascara makes my eyelashes pop out because I have those like Asian people eyelashes. I don't have any. Like my son was seriously blessed with some really beautiful eyelashes. Next, I'll be going in with the NYX eyeliner. So, 
my eyes can pop out more. So right now I am putting on Lily Lashes. I am wearing the Hollywood ones and I'm just blowing some glue just to make it tacky and it won't move everywhere when I apply it. Now moving on to foundation. I'm starting off first with the Professional Matte Rescue Primer. Then I'm going to be using the Fit Me Foundation. Now, the foundation that I normally use is the Too Faced in porcelain, and today I'm going to be using the Fit Me by Maybelline in 220, and I love this foundation because it matches to your skin tone really well, and I recommend it for anybody. Like, you're on a budget, it works really, really well, and you can build up the coverage as well. And with my airspun baking powder in neutral and I'm going to be baking the areas that I normally get oily at and where my glasses normally go. So now I apologize for now, now. and it's you know, because I'm pretty sure you guys can hear highlight um, the puppies in the background crying. Two different types of highlights. Now I'm going to be applying the bronzer. Um, their pit bulls. Now I'm going to be doubling my bronzer with the Hula by Benefit. I normally don't put so much bronzer because with the Hula, it gives it a lot more pigment to it. Now I'm going to be adding some of this highlight to my under brow. Now I'll be going in with the Urban Decay Setting Spray an all-nighter so guys this is the final look 